Guys, this is a massive battle now. We've got the QB and Susano Sasuke going against Obito now. Holy fuck, as it could not have escalated anymore. So I really liked how Sasuke managed to power himself up during this like saying like if that he's apparently on the same level as Madara, that he can potentially be on that level. I'm like, really? I don't know. Madara is pretty fucking sick and Sasuke still needs to do the full suit now. He still needs that the wood style. He still needs the Rinnegan. He still needs all this shit, guy. I don't know. So we see that he actually has Jugo empower him using the curse mark on his Susano itself to increase its power. And that pretty is sick. And Minato gives all of his chakra by seems it to Naruto. And he seems like these two are got to finish the fight themselves. And the rest of the chapter was really showing the first ever Kage Summit meeting. You get to see like um, the first and all the uh, Kage's there talking about it and really showed that the Kaze Kage was really the one that made it a little bit more difficult than it was supposed to be since he was like, they were, they were planning on discussing on the how to share all the Bijus but he was like, oh my my country is a terrible country with no like productivity. I want 30% of you know all the lands. I think it was either all the lands or he wants all of um, Konoha's lands. And that was pretty shocking to see that. And then, you know, he kept getting on his head, bowing to these guys, saying, you know, we haven't been able to get along nice, but that's something we've been doing to protect our clans and our comrades. You know, I gotta give them some freaking credit for that. He's like, and he's saying, you know, I'm not sure how long it'll last or how day how long it'll take, but one day in the future, you know, our real dream will come true. Like and then you see like all the Kage's at the end. That was pretty cool to see. I it was kind of uh, cool that he actually does get to see both him and uh, Toby Rama get to see his dream come true of like all of the alliance coming together. And this is really what he wanted to get in the first war, but like with his time, but he just couldn't get to it. Like, and I feel a little bit sad about that. Like, that um, Hashirama could never really get to that point. But still, it was a pretty cool chapter. Like, I enjoyed some of the moments in it. Like, I love the whole Orochi Marabit coming and saying, you know, what he's been doing. Then as well, you know, saying, hey, you know, Sasuke be on the same level. There was some really good stuff into this one. Very informative. I still want to get more to the fighting now because it feels like it's, be, uh, one, like it's been on some like One Piece pacing lately. Like with Naruto. And I know I just want to go a little bit back to the normal pacing um, that it was. But I feel like, you know, this is just... Be, this has been dragged on way too long than it should be now. But let me know what you guys think. I'd give this an, um, I think this is an 8.5, nearly an 8, like, because it was a good chapter. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. But that's all for me. I want to thank them for watching. Remember, straight out of Panda, Santa, and I'll see you guys next time.